Hi, I'm back. Uh, this is the second episode of the um, talk about flash photography. Let's talk about high speed sync. Before we delve into more of it, I kind of have to give you a very crude demonstration of what the modern uh, camera looks like in terms of uh, the sensor and the shutters that goes with it. Basically, if you think about the sensor as this piece of, of black thing here, um, we have ear sensitive to light, right? The light's going to hit it and it's going to record the, uh, the image on the sensor. Now, to prevent the, the sensor to be exposed before you take a picture, you have a set of curtains, usually two curtains, represented by two white envelopes like this. So when you take a picture, the, the shutter, the first curtain open up, like that, and um, and expose the um, the sensor to the light, and then to close it, the second curtain go up and blocks it. So basically, that's how the um, the sensor is being exposed. And depending on the shutter speed, right? Depending on how fast you set it, this thing is going to move fast or slow. Now the modern shutter is if if you do it like this open close to to expose the entire sensor behind it at one time the the speed is about one two hundredth of a second some cameras load faster one two hundred and fiftieth um, but the maximum is like one three hundredth um, faster than that the the shutter just don't have enough time to open fully, expose the entire sensor, and the other one close. Okay, so if you shoot like one, one thousandth of a second or something like that, right, uh, what, what will have to happen is that as soon as this guy start moving and expose only part of the sensor behind it, this guy have to start moving also. So they move together like that, okay? And uh, when, when it go all the way up, this guy's going to go like that and close it. Because the speed's so fast, the entire sensor is never exposed at one time. It only partial. Okay, that's an important concept. Normally that's not a problem. Um, the sensor uh, is exposed just fine by uh, many slivers of light hitting it. Um, um, sequentially. Okay. The only problem is that now you're shooting a flash. The flash pulse is very fast. It's like one twentieth thousand of a second. Very fast. Problem with that is like in a, a fast shutter speed. This guy moves like that, partially exposed the sensor. This guy's already move up. So there has never been one single time above one two hundred fiftieth of a second that the entire sensor is exposed for the flash to, to fill it. So when you do that, the flash is only, because it's so quick, it only light up a sliver of the sensor to see the problem. So only one sliver of the sensor, so basically your picture is only exposed for, for one slice depending on the speed. So so your picture is ruined. The flash is going too far, like say you you shoot at one one thousand of a second, right? So this one open up like that, and then this guy start moving, right? So before it start moving, the flash fired once, so it exposed this part of it. Now it continues to move, this guy come up, okay? So here's another new sliver the flash fires again, so it fires pauses of light, so multiple flashes of light go chuk, 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 really fast, and human eye cannot see it. But So it exposes this sliver, this thing continues to move, and the flash continues to fire chuk, 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 until all of it is exposed. So that is what high speed sync is, multiple pauses of flashlight. Okay, so that is a special mode. 
um, you have to kind of switch over to high speed sync in order for the flash to do that. And it's smart enough to fire it enough pauses to cover all of it. So, so it's properly done. Um, the only disadvantage of the high speed sync, of course, because it does multiple uh, pauses of light, the, the light output is less than just one powerful pause, correct? But it, it works for most cases. You, you just have to, uh, to, to open the aperture up a little more, the ISO up a little more, and then you can accomplish um, the same thing. Uh, with the reduced flash power, but that's usually not a problem at all. So, so that is high speed sync. It is very important that that when you buy a flash, external flash like this, uh, you know you have high speed sync. And most flash nowadays have that. Even though a couple, for example, like the ring flash that I bought uh, from Yongnuo uh, for macro. It does not do that. It's kind of renders useless for me because I, I take the uh, flash outside where the speed uh, required to be faster. I can't really use this that one, so that's a disappointment. And that's a lesson learned for me. I will not buy anything without a high speed sync.